lesson 12.4, customary units of liquid volume. And there's links in the description for 12.1, 12.2, and 12.3 if you missed them. We can use models such as bars or a table that has bars in it to compare customary units of liquid volume. So let's start with the largest one here and let's get a closer look. Here we have a gallon. It's 128 liquid ounces. And if you split the gallon in half, you'll have two half gallons. They're each 64 liquid ounces. If we take a half gallon and split it in half, we'll have two quarts that are each 32 liquid ounces. If we take one quart and split it in half, we'll have two pints. They'll each be 16 liquid ounces. If we take a pint and split it in half, we'll have two cups. And each cup is eight liquid ounces. And I'll post a copy of this to my Joanne School Facebook page if you want to save it or print it for yourself. Liquid volume is the measure of the space that a liquid occupies. Occupies means uses. And some basic units used for measuring liquid volume are gallons, half gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. One cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. One pint is equal to two cups. So that's two times eight. That's 16 fluid ounces. One quart is equal to four cups, so that would be 32 fluid ounces. And this chart shows the relationships among some units of liquid volume. So here we have one cup that's eight ounces, and this is milk. We have a pint of milk, that's 16 ounces. A quart would be 32 ounces. One half gallon would be 64 ounces, and one gallon would be 128 ounces. And the largest units are gallons. And the smallest units are fluid ounces. There's eight fluid ounces in one cup. So we can see on this chart that one gallon is two times as much as a half gallon. And we can see one half gallon is two times as much as one quart. So do you see the pattern of twos in the chart? We have a gallon. Two half gallons make that gallon. We have a half gallon. Two quarts make that half gallon. Two pints make that quart, and two cups make that pint. Each unit is twice as much as the next smaller unit. Fluid ounces are different than ounces. An ounce is a customary unit used to measure weight. A fluid ounce is a customary unit used to measure liquid volume, which is the measure of space that a liquid occupies. So for our pattern of twos, we can start with cups and say two cups equal one pint, two pints equal one quart, two quarts equal one half gallon, and two half gallons equal a gallon. So it's going two, 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 and then two for that whole gallon. So it takes two units to make the next larger unit. Now this pattern of twos only works if we include half gallons. We know there's four quarts in one gallon, and you may not hear about half gallons that often. So don't think there's two quarts in a gallon because we have to include the half gallon for that pattern of twos to work, okay? Mrs. Kim needs two gallons of iced tea for a party. If she made 240 fluid ounces, did she make enough? We think we need to compare two gallons to 240 fluid ounces. So we should convert, that means change, the two gallons into fluid ounces. That way we're comparing fluid ounces to fluid ounces. Well. Here's one gallon, and it's equal to 16 cups. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 cups in one gallon. Now, if each cup is 8 ounces, we need to do 16 times 8 for 16 cups times 8 fluid ounces. And we do 16 times 8, we get 128. 
So we know one gallon is 128 fluid ounces. She needs two gallons. We can make a table that relates gallons to fluid ounces. We know one gallon is 128 fluid ounces now. We just figured that out. That means two gallons, we would do two times 128, which is 256. We know two gallons is 256. Well, if she only made 240 fluid ounces, it wouldn't be enough. 240 is less than 256. So no, if she needs two gallons of iced tea and she only made 240 fluid ounces, she did not make enough. We need to compare these using greater than, less than, or equal to symbols. We have three gallons compared to 24 pints. Well, if we look at our chart here, 24 pints, it takes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints to be one gallon. So if eight pints is equal to one gallon, and we have three gallons, we would have to do eight times three. That would be 24. So 24 pints is equal to three gallons. Here we have four cups compared to 36 fluid ounces. We should change this into fluid ounces to help us. We know one cup is eight fluid ounces. So if we have four of them, we have four times eight. And four times eight is 32. That means we're comparing 32 fluid ounces to 36 fluid ounces. Well, 32 is less than 36. So four cups is less than 36 fluid ounces. Here we have two quarts. We need to compare it to eight cups. We should turn the quarts into cups. So here's quarts, and we can see that there are four cups in one quart. So if there's four cups in one quart, there's eight cups in two quarts. So we're comparing eight cups to eight cups. That's equal. Two quarts is equal to eight cups. Now we have seven cups compared to three pints. So let's change the pints into the smaller units, the cups. We can see two cups make one pint. So if two cups make one pint and we have three pints, we need to do two times three, which would be six cups. Now we're comparing six cups to seven cups. And seven cups is greater than six cups. So seven cups is greater than three pints. Let's try some higher order thinking skills. Mr. Lee's mug holds eight fluid ounces. How many mugs of coffee could Mr. Lee pour from a full one quart coffee pot? And we think, well, one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. So that must measure one cup. We need to find how many cups are in one quart. And we can use the pattern of twos if we don't have a chart. We can remember that two cups is equal to the next largest unit, pints, so two cups is equal to one pint. And using the pattern of twos, two pints would be equal to the next largest unit, which would be quarts, so two pints is equal to one quart. Well, if one pint is equal to two cups, then two pints is equal to double that, four cups. And if two pints is equal to one quart, and the two pints were four cups, that means four cups is equal to one quart. And he had a one quart full coffee pot, that means Mr. Lee can pour four mugs of coffee. Emma made fruit punch with a combination of two quarts of orange juice, two quarts of lemonade, and two quarts of pineapple juice. How many cups of fruit juice did she make? So we need it to total the quarts. We have two quarts, two quarts, and two quarts. Then we need to change that amount of quarts into cups. We have three times two quarts. That makes six quarts. And we can see one quart is equal to four cups. And we have six of them, 
So we need to do the 6 quarts times that 4 cups. That makes 24 cups of fruit punch. I don't know if any of you heard the snoring in the background, but that's Lola. And this, instead of making a new video, I figured I'll leave her snoring in and show you her sleeping. So as I said in the beginning of the video, I'll have a copy of this customary liquid volume chart on my Facebook page that you can print it or take a screenshot to help you. So just remember the rule of twos if you don't have a chart handy, but remember to include half gallons so the rule of twos work. In our next lesson, 12.5, we're going to make and interpret line plots with fractional data. That means we're going to have information with fractions in it. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.